Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales. Today we are going to discuss certain questions for July 19, 2019 and believe me these questions are going to help you a lot are very important for the upcoming examinations. And uh, I'm going to tell you some interesting facts as well which are important for the examination point of view and interesting for your general knowledge as well. So let us start with the session without wasting any time. The first question is which of the following country has recently joined the International Solar Alliance? Well, in, I'll be telling you certain facts about International Solar Alliance, so stay tuned. The answer to this question is Palau, which is a country in the Western Pacific just above uh, Australia, the country of Australia, and it has been added as 76th member of the 121 membership International Solar Alliance. Now what was this 121 membership 121 were the countries which were a part or in between which lied in between tropic of capricorn and tropic of cancer a total of 120 121 countries but now it has been extended to all the un members so that is something that you need to remember palau has been added as a 76th member as i said of international solar alliance Some things about National Solar Alliance that you need to remember that are important for phase two of the upcoming examinations. ISA was launched in the year 2015. It was launched in the year 2015 by two people, by two members who started it. So it was uh, PM Modi, Narendra Modi, and French President, who is the French President, who was also a part of this, Francois Hollande. Francois Hollande and PM Narendra Modi at UN. climate change conference held in paris in the year 2015 decided and uh, decided and announced that they'll be creating an international solar alliance with an objective of creating 1000 gigawatt of solar energy with an investment of us dollar 1000 billion so 1000 gigawatt 1000 billion easy to remember by the year 2030 by the year 2030 okay so these are some of the important and interesting facts that you need to remember about isa as well as about recent joinee which is the 76th member of international solar alliance let's jump on to the second question the question is who among the following is not a part of three member committee three member panel which has been formed by the supreme court to frame policies for to frame policies for protection of great indian bustard and lesser florican so these are two birds which have been extincting getting extinct from india very less of them are left in the wild and therefore a three member committee has been formed by the supreme court which is a rare feat which happens very rarely it's the government which should be taking such steps and the three members are asad rehmani dhananjay mohan and deepak apte usha thorat is not a part of this committee okay so this is all that you need to remember for this there is no head of this committee these are the three members therefore a question can be framed as i have framed it out here third question which bank has recently launched fund of funds for startups fund of funds for startups a web based application uh, system for contribution from various alternative investment funds so i'll be telling you very briefly about what is a fund of fund for startups as well the answer to this question is said be please provide me the full form of said be i would want you to provide me the full form of said be that is something that can also be asked in the rbi or sebi examination which are coming up uh, in phase 1 specifically now what is a fund of funds for startups the government created a 10000 crore fund uh, which is going to act as fund of funds for startups and gave it to said be now what is said be supposed to do said be is supposed to invite various alternative investment funds and venture capitalist and lend them this money who are going to in turn lend it or provide it or invest it in various startups okay so what uh, sidbi has done is that sidbi is acting as a fund of funds wherein instead of relying on these alternative investment funds and venture capitalists to fund these startups it is instead coming out with this 10000 crore fund and ensuring that all these aifs and venture capitalists have enough money so that these startups are not denied of money that they need for expansion and for 
uh, fast growth okay so this was the fund of fund for startups that has been created by sidbi and now a web based application has been created from various so that uh, various alternative funds can uh, apply for funds through this web based application the next question is which bank has launched small business money back credit card in association with common services centers for small traders and village level entrepreneurs i'll explain to you what is a, a small business money credit card also so that you understand how does this function the answer to this question well is b hdfc bank hdfc bank and cfcs cscs common service centers have come together and created this credit card which will ensure that small traders do not run out of money so for example there is a small trader who is providing credit to the supplier or to the uh, you know uh, to the to the purchaser of 90 days whereas its supplier is taking a credit of 120 days so it is falling short of money because it is providing credit for 90 days but it is also not receiving money for the uh, you know for 120 days therefore in this case what is going to be hap what is uh, going to happen is this credit card is going to provide working capital loan working capital requirements going to fulfill working capital requirements of these small traders thereby fulfilling their small and day to day needs of money two quick questions that i have for you who is the md of hdfc bank and who is the chief of common service centers these are the kinds of factual questions that can be asked in the examination therefore this question for you google it and answer it in the comment section below next question which of the following cricketer has topped the icc's odi rankings 2019 a tip for you he has topped it again yet again the answer to this question in the batting section is virat kohli and in the bowling section is bumrah but bumrah is not a part of the options and therefore uh it's very clear that the answer has to be virat kohli only okay so these two are important these two names are important can be asked in the exam next question for today which ministry has launched kaushal yuva samvad kaushal yuva samvad i think this is this holds more importance for phase 2 examination can be asked in phase 2 in fact to facilitate an open dialogue with the youth across all skill training centers the purpose of this samvad or this discussion is to encourage the people from skill centers to uh, uh, you know involve themselves in a healthy dialogue the answer to this question is ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship a little bit about kaushal yuva samvad i have already explained to you the purpose of kaushal yuva samvad and uh, uh, when was it organized it was organized from 8th to 10th july 2019 but why this date why this time period was chosen because 15th july every year is number one celebrated as skill india mission uh, celebrated as anniversary sorry of skill india mission it was launched four years ago on 15th july only and at the same time it is also celebrated as world youth skills day so two important happenings on 15th july uh, skill india mission was launched and world World Youth World Youth Skills Day is also celebrated on 15 July. That's why this holds a lot of importance. So these were the important and interesting facts about Skill India Mission and World Youth Skills Day. Okay? The answer to this question is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Last question for today. Who among the following has won the gold medal at Commonwealth Weightlifting Championship held at Apia Samoa? I'm leaving uh, this question to you. Please answer it. The options are Lee Zeng, Pradeep Singh, Francisco Mosquera, Huang Minhao, and Halil Motlu. Okay. Uh, well, the photograph here answers it for you, but I would want, still want you to answer it for me in the comment section below. You can also leave a comment here, and you can also submit your answers and get the solution as well. So you can submit your answers and get the solution after submitting your answers here itself immediately. Okay. Uh, I hope you like this uh, session for 19th July 2019 if you did uh, do subscribe to the channel do not forget to press the bell icon and stay tuned every day for su such more interesting questions you can also take these quizzes as well as old quizzes by going to the website directly anujindal.in and by going to quizzes and daily current affairs section wherein 
every day these quizzes are uploaded and updated so that you can take these quizzes as and when they arrive okay all the very best take care have a nice day